A witness to Europe's darkest days, Wilhelm Brass was not only a prisoner at Auschwitz during the Second World War, but also the camp's official photographer. I took these photos knowing full well that a few days later these young girls were going to be gassed, killed. That was my work. Sometimes I'd talk to them, tell them that nothing would happen to them. I calmed them down. Wilhelm, now 91 years old, was sent to Auschwitz in 1940 for trying to flee the German occupation of Poland. As a professional photographer, he was given the job of taking portraits of prisoners, tens of thousands of them. He also took the only surviving photograph of SS officer Joseph Mengele's infamous medical experiments on detainees. We photographed all the prisoners at the beginning, Jews, all nationalities. But after number 35,000, we didn't photograph the Jews anymore. They weren't recorded. Their photos were no longer on the camp's records. That's because by then they were being taken straight to the gas chambers. In January 1945, as the Allied armies advanced on Auschwitz, camp commanders ordered the destruction of all photo evidence. But Wilhelm, with another prisoner, managed to save many of them. Today, 38,000 can still be seen at the Auschwitz Museum. After the war, Wilhelm tried to pick up his camera once again. When I tried to photograph young girls, for example, dressed normally, all I'd see would be those Jewish children.